Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Gmail to QuickBooks in 2024. So today, we're delving into the process of connecting Gmail to QuickBooks, streamlining your workflow by integrating Gmail communication with your accounting tasks. So stick around as I guide you through the steps of connecting Gmail to your QuickBooks in 2024. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically just go to the CRL section and you will need to go and open both your Gmail and QuickBooks and log in into their accounts or your accounts. So go to this URL section, start as an example by Gmail, open that up and go and do the same for QuickBooks.com and hit the enter button and make sure to log in into both options. So here is an example in Gmail I'm already logged in and in QuickBooks as an example. So I'll just go to the global site and of course I'll just go here and log in, log in into my account as an example, sign in, password, enter that out, click on continue. And I'll just skip in for now, I don't need to verify my phone number. And yeah, I should be logged in in a minute. So now, of course, on QuickBooks, to integrate or to connect your Gmail to QuickBooks, you have one option. Of course, I'll show you or I'll check with you an automated option if there are uh, some time in the last of this video. But normally, if you want to connect like your Gmail to, uh, to QuickBooks, you'll basically have on this like dashboard, go to this list panel and simply here, you will have to look for apps. So here, look, click on apps or hover apps, then click on find apps. Once you click on it, of course, you'll find yourself with all those apps in here. What you'll need to do is simply look for Gmail app. Type Gmail and hit the enter button. As you can see, make sure that you have all writing and every app included. As you can see, if we go and click on find apps, we didn't find like the Gmail. So let me just go back in here to show you an example shared by tools, apps, or your business needs. You can even, as an example, if you didn't like uh, uh, like it, you can simply scroll down and see uh, see more apps, as an example, in here, and keep scrolling down until you find it by your own. But normally, this search should find everything for you. So, an example, if you type Gmail and you didn't find it, that means Gmail is not included in here. So, what should you do? And now. So that means you'll not be able to connect this by apps. What you'll need to do or what you'll be able to do is simply go as an example and create an invoice. While you're creating an invoice or you can even open an existing one. After filling up the necessary fields, select save and send to open the preview window. Then select the form uh, or from drop down and choose add Gmail address then connect Google account. And then you'll be able to sign into your Google account and select allow your Gmail address and now it will appear on the from field. For me, as you can see in here, I'll not be able to save and send it and show you exactly how because I'm not, I don't have a subscription active. So for you, as we said, just click on save and send once you try to create your invoice or you can open your new one. Once you click on uh, save and send, it will open, of course, the preview window. So once you do it, you will have to select the from drop down choose add a gmail address and you will be good to go to connect your google accounts and if you do want to do it for quickbooks desktop as example you'll basically have to open your quickbooks and go to quickbooks edit menu then select preferences and send form select outlook and click on ok if you don't see outlook see what to do when uh, to do about us if you don't find outlook because that's another thing so of course that will connect it to your outlook not to your gmail but once you connect your outlook i'll show you how to connect your outlook to gmail so then you'll have to set up your mail your quickbooks mail with outlook once you connect your outlook to your quickbooks now you can go back to your gmail click on the settings at the top right corner here click on see all settings and then you make sure to go and click on accounts and imports 
Once you do so, just go down here until you find this check mail from other accounts. And simply here, you will have to click on add mail account, then enter your Outlook email address as simple as that. So let's say an example, you have like the test at outlook.com and simply click on next. Make sure to uh, then click on Gmailify and you'll be good to go. So for me, as you can see, I ha have an Outlook account already linked so i'll just unlink it as an example so let's just unlink it and link it again to show you exactly how so let's see if it's unlinked i'll have to reload and yeah so it seems like it's not there anymore so you have to click on add mail just type the email outlook.com then click on next of course make sure to choose a link account with gmlify or gmailify then click on next and they'll take you to log in into your accounts for me already logged in into my outlook account so if i go here to outlook as an example.com i'll find myself already logged in as you can see that's why they didn't ask me to log in or something like that and as you can see you can now manage my uh, outlook from gmail so that will connect quickbooks to outlook and outlook to gmail that means your quickbooks is connected to gmail right away of course, you can even see or add or change the settings or edit the info or check the mail now to do like some end time or write time synchronization if you want to. And yeah, that's going to be it for this video. So there you have it. You successfully connected Gmail to QuickBooks in 2024. Optimizing your workflow by seamlessly integrating email communication with your accounting process. Enjoy the efficiency and convenience of this integration as you manage your business finances. And if you have any question or there is a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial, and just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible or I'll try to help you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. Of course, if you need immediate help, you can always contact the support of Gmail or QuickBooks during uh, your uh, period of course with them they will help you even better than i will because like if you have a problem maybe logged in or something like that that's up to you just contact the support and it will help you as soon as possible so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video